This episode of Fine Scale Modeler's new product rundown features Airfix's Big Blenheim, Zvezda's Elephant, and Minicraft's Mentor. The new product rundown brought to you by HobbyZone USA, your source for hobby storage solutions, hard to find hobby tools, and aftermarket modeling needs. Welcome to the new product rundown, Fine Scale Modeler's twice monthly video that shows you inside some of the latest kits, books, and more. I'm Elizabeth Nash. I'm Aaron Skinner. We start this episode with Airfix's 148 scale Bristol Blenheim. Developed from a design for a fast transport, the Blenheim entered Royal Air Force service in 1937. By the beginning of World War II, it was at risk from new and faster fighters, especially during daylight bombing missions. Despite heavy losses, the Blenheim carried out numerous raids against targets in Denmark, Germany, the Netherlands, and Belgium. Equipped with a belly machine gun pack, it became an effective fighter, especially at night. It's this version, the Mark 1F, that is represented by this kit. The major airframe parts are marked by recessed panel lines and rivets, as well as a few raised panels. Rivets, both recessed and raised, key detail on the wings. Inside is where the kit really shines. Cockpit detail includes a multi-part pilot seat that fits into a pair of frames with a molded throttle quadrant, instrument panel and other controls, control wheel, pedals, and navigator slash bombardier seat. Behind the cockpit is a wing spar structure on top of the bomb bay, although it isn't used here, as the doors molded as a single part are mostly covered by the gun pack. Farther aft in the detailed interior are a set of radios and a floor underneath the multi-part turret with a ring and fuselage fairing. A jig helps align the parts during assembly. The control surfaces are separate. The elevators and rudder have subtle fabric over rib texture. Flaps have detail inside, as do the corresponding sections in the upper halves of the wings, and there is an insert with structural detail to go along the hinge line. Each of the nine cylinder Mercury engines comprise a two part bank of cylinders with a separate crankcase, intake manifold, and cowl lip exhaust collector, and optional position cowl flaps. The rear of the nacelles features detailed gear bays with detailed bulkheads. The complex gear legs are broken into several parts, including subtly weighted wheels and separate doors. Sharply framed clear parts provide the large greenhouse for the nose, the upper canopy, a sliding crew hatch, turret glass, and lights. Cartograph decals provide markings for two Blenheims, one in dark green and dark earth over black, one in overall black. This is a nicely detailed kit that would look right at home next to a bow fighter or Defiant. Next we take a look at Zvezda's 135th scale Elephant. This heavy German tank destroyer was never produced in large numbers, only 90 were built. But the vehicle with its 88mm gun served successfully on the Eastern Front and in Italy in the last couple of years of the war. Now this kit is based on Zvezda's 2017 Ferdinand kit, not the 1970 Italeri Elephant which has previously been boxed by Zvezda. The lower hull is a single part molded with the lower sides of the casemate. To that is added the bogies which each receive two paired road wheels. Drive sprockets and idlers finish the suspension and they sit on nicely molded Lincoln length tracks that include some sag in the upper runs and nearly invisible ejector pin marks. The rest of the hull includes the two part glasses, the engine deck with open grills that is topped with another plate with separate grills. The crew hatches are also separate. Moving aft, there is a reinforced armor plate for the driver section with a ball mount for a machine gun, additional armor for the sides, rear quarter panels that match rear plates one of which includes a shielded opening with screen to cover the frame. The separate fenders have subtle diamond tread and good hinges. The casemate comprises a roof with separate hatches, commander's cupola, and periscope with separate covers for the opening, as well as side and rear panels with sharp details. All of these plates join along the casemate's tabbed cutouts. The front plate has the opening for the gun, which has a two-part rear and breech, as well as other details, a one-piece barrel with multi-part muzzle brake, and a mantlet for the opening. Other features include a posable travel lock for the gun, clear parts for periscopes, and molded tow cables. Decals and color diagrams provide markings for two elephants in Italy in 1944. Zvezda also includes textured water slide decals to reproduce Zimmerit applied to the vehicles. Looks like another nice kit from Zvezda that appears to present a straightforward build. Next, here's Minicraft's 148 scale T-34 Mentor. This piston engine trainer first flew in the U.S. military service in 1953, and some later turboprop T-34Cs remain with the Navy today. This kit represents the early A variant that served as an Air Force trainer in the 1950s. And the Beechcraft design also served in Japan and the Philippines. Czech model kitted the C, the turboprop variant, in 2002, but this is the first 148 scale injection molded kit of the piston engine Mentor. Molded in a very light gray plastic, the kit's major airframe parts feature recessed and raised detail. 
The former outline access and engine hatches, while the latter line major panel lines. The one-piece lower wing includes much of the trainer's belly and shows surface detail similar to the body. The raised rivets, like those on the upper halves and the wings, are delightfully subtle. The horizontal stabilizers are marked by recessed lines. The tandem cockpit comprises a floor with raised consoles and molded controls, separate walls, rear bulkhead, seats with separate cushions featuring molded seat belts, instrument panels with separate cowls, control sticks, and trim wheels. Little of the engine is visible through the nose openings, and Mini Crab gives an insert to take care of it. To support the wings and box in the main wheel wells, the kit provides two spars and ends. The landing gear doors have detailed interfaces. The landing gear legs look pretty good with open oleo scissors, although there isn't any molding for the oleo sections on the mains. The wheels come split in halves. Optional spinners and prop blades indicate other versions of the Mentor are on the horizon. Everything is here if you know what you're looking at. Clear parts supply lights as well as the canopy, which is in separate sections, but there's no indication it can be posed open. Cartograph decals provide markings for one of the YT-34A prototypes in USAF natural metal and a Japanese trainer from 1957. There are a lot of colorful mentors out there that would look good on this Sharp model. Check out Caracal Models Sheet CT-48082 for some good ones. And look for a, re a build review of the Mentor, Blenheim, and Elephant in upcoming issues of Fine Scale Modeler magazine. You can always find more new products in the April issue on sale now. <laughs> Thanks for visiting FineScale.com. I'm Elizabeth Nash. And I'm not your stepping stone. Gee, we got this. We got this. Okay. <laughs>